Hey, what's up guys? It's Nacho Dad. Doing a little work out here today. We're on a little side project. Some of you might recognize this. This is a 97cc engine off of the uh, Baja Mini Bikes. It's a little 2.8 horsepower, 3 horsepower, whatever. I'm going to use it to build my own uh, generator. But today, I've got to work on the exhaust. I took the factory muffler off because it was beat. And I've just got some, uh, going to put a little sausage muffler on it. So we're going to build a flange and run a threaded pipe off like we did on the mini bike. And then that'll run over to that. Because in the end, this is going to sit like this. The uh, generator will sit here, be belt drive. But then all the electronics can sit on this side. So, I took the exhaust gasket off. And we're going to cut out a mounting plate. This is some, uh, how thick you say that is? No, that ain't quarter, eighth inch, maybe three sixteenths. I think it's eighth inch. We just outline the gasket. So I'm gonna drill some holes, then cut this out. We weld our threaded piece on like that. So I'll bring it. I'll come back after I uh, drill the holes and cut it out. So I've got my holes drilled out for the bolts, and then I ran a uh, half inch hole down through the middle, and then used my uh, die grinder and ground it out. And decided to go ahead and grind it out big enough to put the nipple down in it instead of just sitting on top and welding around it that way it's kind of flush when it goes in and I'm gonna go ahead and run a uh, few little tack welds on this and I might go ahead actually and weld it solid before I cut it out that way I've got more metal to kind of draw the heat away and keep it from warping so I'm gonna go throw a few welds on this real quick and then I'll come back once it's welded and cut out and we'll slap it on the engine see what it does all right that's what it looks like after it's uh, welded on I'm going to come through and brush it up, clean it up real quick. It's still pretty hot. Let's see how much I need to trim it. Let's see if we can... Okay, just need to trim that corner off. Alright, I'll trim that corner off and uh, see if I can't find two bolts for this. And we'll put it on and see what it sounds like. Alright, so I've got it mounted up here. I've got the... Uh, I actually had to break the original stud off, which there's a hole right here. So I put this big washer on, kind of distribute the pressure a little better. But there's a second hole that's threaded. So I went ahead and just drilled a second hole and threaded it in. Put this big washer on it, spread it over. And then this side's got one with a built-in lock washer and regular washer. So that part's done. Do we go ahead and start putting it all together? Or do we fire it up straight pipe and see what it sounds like with the mini stack on it. Let's see what the mini stack sounds like. So that's what it's uh that's what it sounds like. Let's get a little throttle. Definitely a little better. Hold on, let me, let me kill this thing here. Alright. So it, it needs a little work, but I think it works a lot better. If I could have kept the stock muffler, I would have. But this also shows you how you can just take a little piece of plate from the Lowe's and a pipe fitting, make your own pipe fitting exhaust. This works on uh, Predator motors. That's what my mini bike has. Hold on since I'm doing a building your own exhaust. It's the same thing I did on my mini bike. I took the factory flange and cut it off and just welded a nipple on and then did that, which I know it's not the best way, but that's what I wanted and that kind of gave me an idea how I want to do the real exhaust when I get my tubing bender. So that's all I want to do on this video is just a little how I make my pipe exhaust adapters. Now this is in uh, reality is going to sit just like that. Maybe not sticking out so much. I need to shorten this down. But that's just how I'm going to do it for now. And uh, 
I'll probably do a video on the building the generator, making it all work. That'll be separate. I just wanted to show you guys how I do my flanges and everything. All right. Hope you guys are having as pretty of a day as I am. It's nice out here today. About 70 degrees. It's like 4th of November. About all the leaves off the maple trees now. So, all right. That's it. We'll see you guys on the next video.